Hi guys, I thought I would do a little update for you on how my surgery has been going. This is 10 days afterwards now. Still very, very bruised. My legs, the insides of my legs, very sore. Um, the fact that I can actually lean my hands gently on them now is a good sign because I've it's difficult to know <laughs> where to put yourself. Um, so yeah, the bruising on the legs, on the hips here, that's been quite um, difficult. Um, there's bruising obviously around my breast, but whereas I've, where I had the mastectomy, you do lose a lot of your nerve endings. So you don't feel an awful lot on the actual breast. It's just kind of around the back here where it's quite painful. But otherwise it's okay. It's um, re I'm really pleased with the result. Just hoping after the swelling it kind of stays that size and <laughs> doesn't shrivel up. That's what happened with the second op. Uh, I'll go back to see the professor on the 23rd. So I've got these lovely black um, sexy stockings until then. And um, he'll hopefully be signing me off, fingers crossed, and that'll be the end of it. So as far as um, the actual operation, it all went really well. Um, I have felt very sick and dizzy, a lot of nausea this time. Um, actually fainted, uh, came out of hospital Tuesday, the Thursday, I actually fainted out cold, which I've never done in my life. I've kind of got, you know, swooned a little bit before, I felt a bit sick, but apparently I was out for two minutes. Um, so yeah, that was new and um, in certainly in the mornings I felt very queasy very dizzy tried to kind of get on with my studies and I couldn't even turn the computer on so I kind of had a week of nothingness and then um, this, from this week Monday Tuesday I've, I've got back to my studying been able to do a little bit of study on the computer so I feel like I'm stepping in the right direction still got a little bit of nausea and sickness but otherwise all good and I think once the bruising's gone uh, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. I did my first doggy, longish doggy walk, like a 40 minute walk today and that was absolutely fine. Um, still don't think I'm quite up to being able to do seated yoga or anything yet because can't quite cross the legs but certainly I've been trying to stretch top part of my body and doing my gentle rolls and, and exercise, general exercises that I have done, which you can find in my previous videos. So just starting to move around a little bit more now, which I feel that my body needs as I'm starting to that, get to that seizing up stage. But otherwise, everything went well. Uh, it's just the bruising, it's been quite bad. I, I did, I, Probably didn't quite expect it to be this bad, this op. I thought it was going to be like a really easy one and, you know, I'm going to, I was going to be running up the road and doing my yoga by now, but it's not quite been like that. Um, it is a little bit more invasive than I thought, but other, but other than that, it's all good. I'm definitely going to do a very gentle yoga class this weekend. I will film it for you guys, whether it will be on the sofa, I'm going to attempt to try and maybe sit on the floor, not sure yet how that's going to work, but I will definitely do a yoga class, so that's something for you to do if you've, been, if you've gone through the same thing. For now, take care, keep using that Arnica cream for the bruising, I'll see you guys really soon.